Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video. Today, I wanted to have a quick discussion regarding the amount of events that go on within Asphalt 9. Now, I think this sort of discussion is especially relevant during this season because it is obviously a season that has basically half the time. And so a lot of players who bought the Legend Pass feel very rushed and very disappointed with the frequency of events and of course with the requirements, which is a whole other story. But I just wanted to talk about how many events that are going on at the same time, because frankly, for me, it's it's been kind of overwhelming these past couple of months. So just for example, within this event as a free user, we've had the Sesto Elemento, the Avia, the Peugeot Onyx Starway, the multitude of car hunts, the Reventon Grand Prix, and then now we have the Tech Rules Elite Prix, which is starting basically as the Grand Prix for the Reventon is kind of still going on. So because I want to try and take a step back and look at it two ways, I want to look at the positives and the negatives. For the player's perspective, this means that there's always something to do. It means that you can get busy playing the game if you really enjoy it and you won't run out of things to do. And for someone that might be bored, that is a really great thing. And for people who really like to grind, that is also a great thing. On the other hand, for the company, it's also a great thing. And by company, I mean game off because if you're making your players do all these different things, maybe they feel stretched out, they can pay their way through certain events or pay for tickets, and obviously that increases the profit of the game. And without profits, they wouldn't be able to run the game in the first place. So I'm not gonna fault Game Off for like doing this to try and get players to spend money to get through these events, because honestly, like they probably need that type of income to run the game. But I did wanna mention some of the negatives, and that's where I sort of come in with my perspective. Now the Legend Pass does have kind of a discussion here because it if you bought it, you'll notice that there was half the time and a lot of events going on through this season. Now, if you did buy the Legend Pass, you might feel very overwhelmed because you feel an obligation because you spent money, now you need to get as much as you can. But from a free user's perspective like myself, it still feels overwhelming. We had the Sesto Elemento event, which was technically free to enter. We had the Avia event, which was very easy to get through, but it was a bit of a grind. We had the Onyx Starway, which in my opinion was one of the best events ever in this game, but it was a bit of a grind and it meant you still had to spend tickets. For Legend Pass holders or people who wanted to to spend tokens to buy the Diablo. There was the Countach event. And of course we had the pre-events with the Reventon Grand Prix and the Tech Rules Elite Prix. Not to mention the tons of car hunts that they've been throwing at us and other daily events. So the main issue is just the fact that all of these events require the same style of tickets. There aren't separate tickets for special events compared to normal daily events. Adding a separate pool for these events would make it so much easier, but you might also say that the Grand Prix and Elite Prix don't require any tickets at all. And that's valid, but again, it's also the time commitment of players. I know a race only takes around a minute or two, but when you're starting to need five or 10 races in a row to progress into an event, that's when it can get very time consuming. So from my perspective, I do believe that there are just too many events going on. I feel overwhelmed when I open the game and I start to prioritize what I want. For example, right now, the only only thing I'm worrying about is the Onyx Starway and the Reventon Grand Prix. For the Sesto event, even though it's over, I basically just dropped out after the first couple of days because I knew it was going to take up a lot of my time and a lot of my effort, and that's basically what I thought of for the Evia event as well. And if we go over to the daily events tab, I have not touched basically any of the car hunts because I just know the drop rates for that are ridiculous, and I'm not keeping up with the class elite events because I've just frankly haven't had time to look at them and some of the other daily events I haven't been keeping up with either. And yes, I know you might be saying it's so easy to just log on and play a race or two, and you're right, but I really don't want to completely burn myself out for this game because there are moments that I enjoy in this game, and I really want to get some cars that I like, for example, the Reventon, but if I play too much, then I know I'm going to start disliking playing this game. Now, yes, the easy solution is doing what I'm doing, which is just prioritizing the events you want to go for and the cars you want to unlock, and just understanding that there are simply going to be things in this game that you'll never get cough to Atari key cough. But I still do think that Game of could do a bit of a better job easing the players, I guess, experience with looking at all these different events and prioritizing what they can or cannot do. And of course, extending the season, even though we know that there's an anniversary thing coming along soon, would have been nice. But I think the main solution that would really ease a lot of players' experience with this is just adding a separate pool of tickets for seasonal events versus daily events. So anyway, guys, what do you think of the amount of events going on right now in Asphalt 9? I know it's a pretty big discussion but I wanted to get my thoughts out there and of course have a nice discussion with you all. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later.